Sign up to the SBR Network and use your free daily bet points to earn real-world prizes. Click on the page and start winning now. What's happening? Welcome to SBRForum.com. In this video, we're taking a look at the ultimate deciding game number seven between the Boston Bruins and the Montreal Canadiens. Now, I hate to say I told you so, but I told you this series was going seven games. Said it right from the beginning, and lo and behold, we're at game number seven. Now, to me, I think if you've been following the picks from day to day in this series, you know what I'm going to be taking. I said uh, the Habs are going to win in game seven. To be honest, I'm quite nervous about that pick. But I think if you're a betting man, you really have to take a look at where the odds are at, where the value is at, how the games have played out, and really when you do that, it really makes sense to only take one of these two teams. Now if you've been betting the Bruins every single game, they've been costing you an arm and a leg, you're down about 1.7, maybe 1.5 to 1.7 units depending on where you got the line. Um, and therefore, that affords us the opportunity uh, with some of those profits that we make, because we've been on Montreal pretty much every game, uh, to take uh, the Habs, and even if they lose, we've still been profitable on this series. Now that's me personally, uh, you know, suggesting, or I guess go sticking with the theory, so for those who've been betting with that theory, that makes sense for you. Now let's say you've come along to game number seven, and uh, you haven't been touching this series and you want some advice. Well, to me, advice is really pretty much the same. You got the, you got the Bruins who traditionally don't play too well against the Habs. Coming into this series, they have lost six of eight to, Bo uh, to Montreal. The Habs play pretty good in Boston as well. Uh, what are we at now? They've won six of the last ten meetings in Boston. You know, 60% is pretty good considering Boston's a pretty good home team and was the President's Trophy winner this season. Um, you know, you take a look at how this series has played out. You got Montreal who held 3-1 leads in Game 1, Game 2, Game 3. I mean, had they not blown uh, the 3-1 lead with 10 minutes to go in Game 2, this series might already be done. Game number 4, they lost 1-0 in overtime on a fluky bounce. Game 5 was really the only game where they looked like uh, they weren't in control and in fact Boston dominated. Game 6, they won 4-0. So, Montreal, you could really make the case, has been the better team uh, throughout most of this series. Now, you take a look at the odds, you got to lay minus 200, minus 180, you know, minus 190 in that neighborhood with Boston. We're talking about a coin flip matchup here. Uh, Montreal has already won in Boston in game one. As mentioned, game two, they were up 3 1 with 10 minutes to go, and game five was the only game where they really uh, were not in control in Boston. So they can do it. Again, I mentioned they've won 60% of their uh, six of the last 10 games in Boston. They're capable of doing that. They play well in this series. They just need to stay away from the physical stuff. Boston likes to drag, in, drag them into these scraps after the whistle, uh, shenanigans uh, in between the periods. As long as Montreal sticks to what makes uh, them such a thorn in Boston's side, that being the speed, the discipline, uh, the finesse, the passing, uh, the counterattacks, that's really the issue for Boston uh, in this series. And the Habs have shown time and time again that that is something that the Bruins can't really handle. First goal is key in this game as well. Montreal is a team that's not built for coming from behind. Boston obviously can come from behind as they have in this series um, a, a few times. But I still think if the Habs get the first goal in this game, they have a 70 to 80% chance of winning. If they don't get the first goal in this game, uh, they're probably losing. I really don't think that they're capable of the comeback. I know it's just one goal, but it's just the nature of these two teams. Boston is a different team when they play with the lead. We saw that in Game 5. Montreal can't afford to get down early. Uh, they need to get ahead early, cut the crowd out of it, and uh, do what they did in Games 1 and 2. They're capable. Uh, we just need to see them get it done. Uh, Habs power play has been a strength for them in this series. Special teams has really tilted towards the Habs in this series. Um, I expect that to continue in game number seven. And uh, really, as long as the Habs stick to the game plan, I think they have a shot to win this game. Again, we're talking about maybe a 50-50 shot, probably 55-45 in Boston's favor. But the odds, look at the payout. You're getting about plus 160, plus 170 with Montreal. That's why we're betting the Habs here. Because of the value, this should really be uh, maybe around minus 140 for Boston. 
that's that's more realistic for the chance that they have of winning this game. I think Montreal wins this game in overtime. That's right, I'm predicting overtime in game number seven. I think this goes the distance and more, and I think Montreal gets a goal uh, in the extra frame and advances to the Eastern Conference Final. Thanks for watching this video right here on SBRforum.com. We've got wire to wire coverage of the Stanley Cup playoffs. Every single game covered in video form, in article form. Make sure you soak all of that in and then go to your sports book and make some of these picks official. Thanks for watching. Thank you.